Welcome to this video. In this video, we'll talk about a project which I made last week for this course. And it's a very interesting project. You can use this project right away using my code in one of your application. It's almost complete. So in this project, what you're going to see is how we're going to restrict the screens for certain users. For example, we have three types of users, admin, guest, and operator. So admin can do everything on the Node-RED. We can restrict some activities for the user operator and the guests can only visualize the process. So let me show you what we're going to do. So at the moment, you can see current logged in user is guest. OK, and if he doesn't know the login ID and password, so he can't do anything here. There's just login, cancel and log out. And here you can see the current user. So guest means there is nobody who's logged in. This is the guest appearance. So all we have for the guest is on the left side, you can see registration and the operator. So in the operator screen, he can just visualize the process. So this is a dummy process in which I have a water level which is increasing and decreasing just to show a dummy process. Here it can be your own process. For example, if you're monitoring some level, you can show some level to the guest so he can only see he cannot control it or any other parameter which you want to show. This is generally happen when you go to an international trade fair. So you display your product. You just want to show something moving only for the guest. And if you want to change something, you have to log in. OK, now let's let's go back to the login screen. And let's say now I have an ID and password, which I already created. I will show you how I created that. And I want to log in. So I have my operator and that's my name here. And I have a password. And notice I have a status here and the current user logged in. So when I click login, it says login successful and that's my name. So I'm logged in now. And if I go back here, now if I go to operator, I see more information. So it says current user Rajveer, filling level, draining level, and I can do start filling, stop filling, start draining, stop draining. This is just a dummy, just for explanation that how you can hide or show the information based on which user is logged in. If you do, if you recall when it was guest, I could only display, I can only see this display. But now I am user Rajveer, which I assign as an operator. So I can also start, stop and do for draining and filling as well. But only registration and operator. This is the only authority I have as a user Rajveer. OK, let's see what more we have. So if I go to registration and I go log out, I'm again back to guest and here just the display. Now let's see I have admin admin ID and password. So I will try to do that now. I will enter admin as my username and I know my admin password. I enter that and I click login. Now you can see login successful. Current logged in user is admin. Now admin has more powers to make more new users. So if I go back here, now I have another screen settings, but before coming to settings, I'll show you operator again. Now as an admin in the operator, I also have filling and drain level parameters, so which I can increase and decrease. So this is just to show you how by logging to different users, you can show different things on the screen. This will really help you if you want to restrict some things from your users. OK, and now if you see here another tab, it says settings. Now what is happening here? You will see here you can register new users, you can update the passwords, and you have a user database. Now, there are two types of password which we need to understand when we are doing this user ID registration in Node-RED. One is you use the normal password without the hash. So if I say my password of admin is also admin, I can see here admin, I can store this password in my database, which will make it very easy. But if you want to encrypt the passwords, I have used the encryption in this node red. So if you see this number, this is not the real password. This is the encrypted password. Even if somebody see that, he can't crack inside my user account. So the password which I set, let's say I register a new user and I say it's Yulia and I put its password as and repeat. And OK, before I register, I show you if I don't put the same password in this one, I have an error handling as well. And I click register. It says password does not match. It's the same as when you're making a new account in some websites. So I have to make sure my password is matched. Or if I use the same name, 
This is very important how you do error handling. If I use the same name, it says username already exists, so it will not register that. So you can do what, whatever error handling you want to do. So I put the new name and new password and I click register. Successfully registered. So I put some password here, but here it's encrypted. Now this information you don't have to show in your node read, but I'm just showing you for explanation. This information is generally in the database. So if I show you my database, you can see the encrypted passwords are here. So even my software, my database doesn't know what is the exact password because this is encrypted. I will explain you the project in the next video, but what is happening? Let's understand the layout first. Now, if I say I want to change my password, okay, now current user is admin. I would not like to uh, change admin password. I can also change my other user password. Okay, we come to that later when we explain. So you can put your old password and then you can put your new password and this way you can update your password. Well, this we will see in the next videos. But here is a user database. So we have username and we have password and everything is stored as hash. I can refresh it and I can delete all. And remember, this user database only comes when admin is logged in. Okay, then I can delete my password as well. So this, what is happening here, I will just explain you a little bit here for a little bit better understanding. So let's say I have a process. So this is my process. And you have three types of user. So one is the guest user. And guest can only visualize. He can only see what is happening. Okay. So I'll write here, only visualize. And then you have another user that is called operator. And you can make many operators. So one of the operator which I made in my database is by my name. So operator can visualize. So he can visualize. An operator can start stop the process. And then come the third user, which is the main, we call it admin. Or you can also name it, rename it as supervisor or shift in charge, whatever. Admin can visualize, admin can start stop, and admin can change parameters. So we have made these three users in our database. So we have a database, and I need a photo for the database, wait, I'll take So the account information for these are stored in the database, okay, MySQL database. It is not stored in the node red, because if you restart the node red, you can still use the ID and password because we stored in the MySQL database. So this is your MySQL. Now the thing is, what user can do? User can, um, in MySQL, what are the things which we are doing? We are doing login, logout. In MySQL, we are registering new user. I will write here, register new users. By the way, this is something which admin can also do. Admin can also register new users, okay? And we can also update passwords. And when we are talking about passwords, so when we talk about passwords, we are encrypting the password, okay? So this is encrypted. This is adding another layer of security. Because if you imagine, if you don't encrypt the password and someone has access to your database and if he see your password, so it's not a bit secure. So it's better you encrypt the passwords, okay? So this was about the introduction to this project. And in the next video, I'll explain you one by one how we are registering, how we are updating, how the user database works, and how this login screen is working, and how to hide and show different groups or tabs. Okay, let's see that in the next video, starting with the project. Ciao.